Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new point of view street photography video. And in this one, we're using the Canon 80D with the 50mm 1.8. The 50mm 1.8 is the cheapest, best budget lens any photographer can buy. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, I don't know what lens to get next, or you're interested in purchasing your first lens, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. It needs to be the 50mm. It's so good for portrait stuff, street stuff, product stuff, just a whole range of things. And it's only like a hundred pounds, or the Canon EF um, 50mm is only about a hundred pounds. So why would you not want to get it. This setup in total, the 80D and 50mm, is around £600, £500, which I think is pretty good value for money. Once you see some of the photos in this video, you probably won't be able to tell whether I took it on a £3,000 setup or a £600 setup. So I'm excited to announce something pretty special and I'll talk more about that later on in the video. But for now, enjoy the photos and at the end of the video, we'll also be going through the hashtag Mike Chudley to go through your photography, give some shout outs and see what's going on over there. So let's get started. We're gonna kick things off. Shooting this Porsche here, yeah, this looks pretty sick. The building behind it's got some similar clothes as well. We're gonna stick it at 1.8. ISO is gonna go down to about 100. I need to change the focus point as well. We're gonna go to AF tracking as well and then just tap on screen to where I wanna focus. Just one like that. With the 50 mil being a crop as well, it's pretty much, I'm shooting at pretty much 70 mil. Something like that. Settings are on screen. Not sure if I really like it that much to be fair, but. Very simple, nothing complicated about these whatsoever. See if I can throw a nice edit on those. Get a couple more details here. Maybe even just a wide shot. Nice. Cheers. Let's go behind the car as well. See what we can do. Make sure I don't get run over. Oh yeah, I think I, just weird. I kind of prefer it like this. Make sure I don't get run over. Sam, just go back. It's a lovely little reflection here on this fountain. Oh, there we go. Just get a little portrait of Sam here. It's actually a really weird photo, but it kind of works a little bit, I think. That'll be on screen. Cheers. This guy looks sick. Let's get a portrait of this guy. Loving the outfit, mate. Yeah. You look great. The whole outfit looks fantastic. Oh, he's going to get ready for us. Yeah, posing, I love it. Is it gloves for COVID or is that just part of the outfit? Uh, this is COVID, cool, yeah. Yeah, just get a simple, full body here, looks good. I have a bit of a weird question. Do you have a cane? A cane? A cane, yeah. Uh, yeah, for what? For a photo. Let's just get one more portrait, mate. It's really good. Shame about the mask, but it is what it is. That's cool. Thanks, mate. Last week, I was taking photos of an Audi R8, and the feedback was crazy. I put those photos on screen. They were really simple Audi R8 photos, but we're just passing this Audi R8 here so we can see if we can get some nice photos with the ATD. So we're going to shoot at 2.8. We want some depth, but not, um, not crazy bokeh. Just going to tap on screen, frame something like that. Now... It's not quite raining or I'm not getting any crazy reflections, but get the back third like this. I forget how cropped in 50 mil is on a APS-C sensor. It's it's about 70 mil, so you have to you have to get quite far back. And I'm used to shooting on the R6, which is obviously full frame. So we're like 2.8, shutter 1000 of a second, ISO 100. Just let these people walk by. Architecture looks great. We get quite low to the floor here. Simple one. Cool, it's quite nice. We're gonna go again on the path. The shots I got last week of, a, of an R8 that everyone seemed to really like was it was raining and there was quite a bit of a mood in London, but it's really bright out today, so there's nothing really that interesting going on. I don't know, everything's a little bit overexposed. I'm not entirely sure I like these photos at all. But anyway, we move on. So then opposite the Audi is this Morgan, which I have to take a photo of, obviously, because this POV has just turned into a car photography POV. But we'll see what we can do. Architecture behind the Morgan looks pretty sick as well. Let's go wide. Landscape, uh, shutter speed 1250, aperture 3.2, ISO 100. That looks perfectly exposed to me. That's quite simple. Let's go straight on. I'm actually going to use, I'm actually going to use this Ferrari that I'm leaning over. Compose this image like so. So the, the settings are on screen now. That's kind of cool. That's quite nice. We'll just get another really simple one. Quite low down here. Shutter speed 2000 for the second. Aperture 3.2. Boom. Let's just take one more. Boom. Cool. Let's get one close up on the detail here. Aperture 3.2 looks fine. Shutter speed 2000 per second. Very simple. It's time to take this POV to the next level. I've not had a Red Bull since I was like 15. We've headed towards Harrods now, getting some steps in. Just gonna get a really simple architecture shot. At least the clouds are somewhat a little bit interesting. Probably like 7.1, shutter speed of 250. Just very simple photo. See if we can lob an interesting edit on that somehow. 
Oh, G-Wagon here. Let's use these railings to create a frame. So we're gonna keep the aperture on, on 1.8 to get that, that shallow depth of field. Focus through the frame in there on the logo. Boom, that looks quite cool. Let's get a shot of the wheels just from above. Really simple. Maybe even go to like 2.2, shutter 500. Really simple, nothing exciting there. Look at this pigeon just chilling here, screaming for a portrait. Let's get really shallow, 1.8. Oh, I actually really like this photo. 1.8, shutter speed's gonna have to be like through 3200. That's kind of funny. He's looking directly at me. Let's go straight on as well, see if he's not budging. This fella is not budging. Let's get the crown in as well. This is funny. But let's get a photo of the pigeon and Harrods. Fantastic. That's very funny. Show sure this pigeon. guy in the bus. Yes, mate. Thanks, buddy. We've got bus driver Hervey. I'm going to crop in, I think, as well. Fantastic. We love it when people are good That's sports. Great. Love this guy on the phone here. Looks like he's having an important conversation. G wagon over there as well. Let's just get a nice, simple photo like this. We're going to go to something like aperture of five. Get the shutter down to like 250. That's kind of cool. Let's get the aperture all the way up to 7.1. Let's go for like a nice, nice wide angle shot. Shooting straight down the street here. Why not? I don't know, that's, that's all right, something like this. Yeah, this looks pretty cool to me. Very simple. Let's keep walking down here. I wish the light was a little bit more interesting. It's kind of just got a bit cloudy, but you win some, you lose some. This photo of this G-Wagon here looks very cool. Let's get a nice simple one at the front of the car here. Aperture 3.2, shutter speed 200. Let's see what that looks like, not too shabby. Let's do the same photo, but with the back of the car as well. Something like that. Simple stuff. Jimmy just asked me if I was doing a car POV today, but that's not my intentions at all. But this is what's ended up happening. As we're walking around, there's a lot of nice cars around, so but I'm gonna do it again with this Mercedes. <laughs> there's like a, a few photos that I just get every single time I see a nice car. Like the, the front third, focus on the wheels. That's cool. We'll do the same with the back, actually, because the back of this Mercedes looks peng. Can't believe I just said peng, but that does look sick. Focus on the wheel-ish. Bare peng. That's nice. We'll try a little bit of clean edit on it, and then we'll get the front third as well. This, this is definitely turned into a car photography POV, and I'm not even that good at taking car photos, if I'm honest with you. Let's use the road as a little bit of texture. I love the architecture behind the car. Colours look pretty cool, very simple, minimal, you know, grey Mercedes, nice white background. Maybe something like that, I don't know. Car photography is not my niche or speciality, but I'm giving it a go at least. Can we get a photo? We can. Maybe we'll just use this as a background, because that looks sick. I love your whole outfit. This will be really quick. We'll get a just shoulder up, medium shot here. Yeah, that's quality. Let's go something like that. And then we we'll get a full body as well, mate. I have to go further back here. Yeah? Just wait for the cars that want an empty background. Here we go. Yeah, this is sick, mate. You look quality. I think my name looks cool. That's sick. It's Kofi, K O F I. Okay, Optical Wonder, Mike Chudley, and Jimmy. Okay. You'll see us follow you, mate. You That's sick. Follow yeah, follow cool. Follow Cheers, mate. Have a good day. Have a good day. Hey guys, Mike here. We'll get right back to the video, but I just wanted to let you know that pre-orders for the Ultimate Street Photography Guide are now available on my website. A link will also be in the description. The Ultimate Street Photography Guide is something I've been working on for a very long time. It's an online course that will be available from the 16th of August. Until then, you can pre-order the course. Those that pre-order it will get a 20% discount and an exclusive preset pack. So you will have seen loads of photos recently from myself that have been edited in this cinematic and moody style. They've been edited with my new preset pack that I've been working on. If you want to get access to this preset pack, then you have to pre-order the course as a little bonus, as a little thank you. Everyone that pre-orders before the end of June will get the preset pack and 20% off. All the details and information will be linked in the video description. So please check out my website, check out the Ultimate Street Photography Guide. The support and the kind words from you guys has been crazy the last few months. We hit 50,000 subscribers. We're really close to 10,000 on Instagram. And this online course for myself is another step in the right direction for me personally with my career and making content here online. So once again, thank you so much. We will get right back to the video now. I just wanted to let you know that pre-orders are available. Bonus preset pack for those that pre-order before the 30th and 20% off the course. So everything will be in the description with links, etc., etc. And if you're not
not interested, then just carry on watching these videos here on YouTube. Uh, the support is appreciated regardless. So thanks guys, let's get back to the video. Loving these buildings and stuff around here. We're around like the National History Museum and the National Science Museum. But these buildings and architecture just are calling for some simple photos. Like, like that's just, for that photo then, that was just all right, wasn't it? That was a little bit of all right. It's a really simple composition here. We're just gonna wait for, um, wait for a subject to walk through. Oh, this would be cool. So we've got a girl walking down here in all black with a black face mask. She looks quite cool. Let's see if we can get this photo. Let's see what this looks like. Three, two, one. That was nice. I like that a lot. What'd you have to say? Yeah, good. Simple shots, oh. simple shots. <laughs> oh. This street looks nice. Maybe you should hold hands as well, I think. Oh, oh. this is cute. Photo's pretty sick as well, I'm not gonna lie. Hey. It looks fantastic. I'm gonna lower the f-stop a little bit, 3.5. Yeah, yeah, walk back towards me. Fantastic. Yeah, they're just skipping for me now. Brilliant action shots. Right, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Talk about content. Look how so, cute that is. That, that's, do you know what? New profile picture? Five months. <laughs> That's That's right. Say there, Sam. Hands on your hips again. You look like you meant business. Yeah. Shutter speed, 3200. Oh, it's going to look sick. A little portrait of Sam here. Fantastic. We've got a G, oh, no, I never thought it was a G wagon. We've got a Defender about to drive down. Let's see what we can get here. Aperture 1.8. Shutter speed nice and quick. Very cool. Nice and simple. Keep the greens in this edit as well. Let's make the greens pop. I'm going to go aperture of what? 2.8. Drop the shutter to 640. That right there is a nice image. This street's looking really nice. There's um, some harsh light in the shadows. Uh, there's obviously the, the sun is just hitting these buildings nicely. So we're gonna go for a really simple, maybe something like that, and then bring the contrast up so you can really see a difference between the light and shadows in post. Just really like this street. I don't know what it is about this street that I really like, but it just looks quite nice. Simple. Oh, let's get it. Do that again. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Sam's just made his way on top of this ledge, so let's just get a couple of, let's go 2.2, .2. it's kind of cool, let's go a bit further back. You forget how cropped in 50 mil is, it's about 70 mil, so. Yeah, then walk to the other way, to the other side. <laughs> That's kind of cool, these are real nice. Yeah, yeah, I like them, I like them a lot. <laughs> to Mike here and I want to just give some context to what you're about to watch because it's pretty funny. Basically all these supercars, Lamborghinis, Audi R8s, etc, a couple of others just pulled up in Regent Street and they were showing off, they were blocking up the traffic, they were annoying everyone, they were just revving their engines, doing their thing, not really harming anyone, It's I'm not really that bothered about it. Obviously people crowded, took some photos and as one of the Lamborghinis you will see in a minute was spitting flames, revving, doing its thing. It was burning the front grille of his friend behind him in the Audi R8. I then took photos of them reacting to what just happened. So you're about to watch a Lamborghini burn the front grille of an Audi R8. So that's pretty funny. So yeah, um, check out these photos. <laughs> to Piccadilly area, um, which obviously I seem to take photos here in every single POV. Nice to meet you. Mate. What's your name? Uh, Optical Wonder. Oh, I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sam. <laughs> nice to meet you, Optical Wonder. Oh, this is nice. There's a little bit of light hitting that taxi over there. Let's see what that looks like once we've edited it. Ah! See what it looks like once we've edited it. I like this guy's hat here, so let's... Focus, God damn it! shit camera. That is exactly how I think. I'm gonna tap two shutter, I think. Yeah, touch shutter enabled. A simple reflection shot through the puddle. These are nice, can't go wrong with some simple lantern shots like this. Make the colors pop in post. I'll shoot at 2.2, uh, shutter speed 140, focus in the middle. 
Nice. Get the back of this guy's hat here. Very nice. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. One of my favourite photos of the day, I think. <laughs> Jimmy's been pulled up by the street performer in the middle of Covent Garden. I think he went to take his photo and then the street performer just like, yeah, I'm, I'm taking care of you now. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> Subscribe to Mike Chudley. <laughs> We're getting some really simple landscape photos here, uh, looking through the trees, and then with the uh, the cityscape in the background, it actually looks okay to be fair. If you want some simple passers-by, I think you got a red bus on the bridge, you got some skyscrapers. You know, these are like very simple London very simple London photos I like those people just walking through the light there it's a very simple image but so let's lob the aperture up to 8 and then we can drop the shutter as well cover to like 250 rub the ISO to 200 and then wait for a simple subject we've got some people walking through frame here that's hopefully there's less traffic yeah I like that that's simple we're just walking across the bridge over to South Bank area. I can't help but get a nice simple cityscape photo. Probably go something like F7.1, F8. ISO 100. I have to bump the shutter, uh, the ISO up a little bit actually. F8, shutter speed 200. That's clean. <laughs> yeah, is the bridge moving? I can feel the bridge moving. Let's get one portrait as well. St Paul's in there as well. Nice. Hello, me again. I hope you enjoyed those photos. This POV was so cool to use the Canon 80 and the 50mm. It was a little bit frustrating at times and I cut a couple of clips where I couldn't get the photos. Um, the 80D is a lot slower than say the Canon R6 is what I'm filming with now. But regardless, I had fun. I'm pleased with some of the photos from this shoot. And now it's time to go through the hashtag Mike Chidley to see what you guys have been posting and see what stands out and give you guys a little bit of a shout out. First thing I spot, that's just because it was right at the top of my feed, is by Tom Esch, Tom Esch. This landscape shot is really nice. That castle is really cool. The edit's really cool. That's a nice, simple image. I'm a fan of that. This photo here from Ghost Visuals looks really good. This spot here, I think all the lights and things are normally orange yellow and you've obviously edited it for like a red vibe. And I think that guy's coat or the security or whoever the guy is down there is wearing red as well. So really nice colors in this photo. I like that. Ooh, petrol station. Good old petrol station vibes with the moon in the background. I'm sure that moon's got to be photoshopped. I love the colors. I love the way you've edited it. The, the colors are really simple. Nothing Nothing's like, nothing stands out too much. You've not saturated it. I think you've done really nice with the edit there. Oh, we can see a nice before and after as well. I see the moon is photoshopped because in the, the original raw photo, obviously. Scrolling straight down into Suran. Sorry, mate, I'm probably not gonna be able to pronounce that correctly, so I'm gonna try. This landscape shot is amazing. I've already liked it as well, apparently. I like this edit because it looks like you haven't edited it that much. I've got a feeling that's what it would actually look like if I was there um, at that spot. That's really cool, so. Um, yeah, really good edit, mate. Keep scrolling, let's do, ooh, this one's nice, from Lisbon in Portugal. Love that edit, that's so subtle as well. You've exposed for the highlights, you've kept the detail here in the buildings, and then you can just see some subtle details in the shadows as well. I really like that composition, that's a great photo. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of that. Ooh, is that the same spot, just differently, different times? Oh yeah, same shot with different light, yeah. That's sick, um, yeah, I really like that. Let's scroll down a little bit more, let's get a few more. Ooh, St. Paul's, classic London photography spot. There's like seven different angles you can get of St. Paul's. Uh, this reflection shot's sick. I really like the silhouette of that person as well. Nice work. Let's scroll down a little bit more. This, I spotted this. It's the same guy from underscore sniper, I think was the previous photo I just looked at. This photo is so good. I remember liking this already, actually. I remember looking at this in the week. You've really edited that sunlight and that glow well, because I sometimes find when I'm shooting sunsets or sunrises, shooting directly into the sun, it's difficult. You end up getting a lot of flare, um, a lot of overexposed highlights, but this, yeah, you've nailed this, mate. This looks really good. This, we have to talk about this photo by 12.north. Yeah, I've already commented, love this. I remember seeing this. This was taken on a Fuji X-T20, which I think is a film camera. I sound like such a noob. I'm not clued up on Fuji cameras at all, but going by the vibe in this photo, that's a film shot. It looks so good. The red color in this photo looks amazing, but like the highlights within 
the photo are so soft. It's literally like you've gone a minus 100 in clarity as if we were editing that with a digital photo. Yeah, mate, that's, that's really clean. Compositions, framing, all looks great. That's enough for today's hashtag Mike Chudley shout outs. Thank you so much for watching this POV video. If you're interested in the Ultimate Street Photography Guide, pre-orders are now available, like I mentioned earlier. So the support is massively appreciated. Road to 100,000 subscribers. Hit that like button, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.